Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. Well folks, I took the time this morning to uh, write a, a rather long post that was a detailed instruction or lesson on importing a package sequence. Now I know I've done a video after video after video on importing it uh, importing any sequence, downloaded sequence, into your show. Uh, that's not what today's video is about. It's the preparation that we're going to go through. The step that you need to do first when you download a sequence from anybody, including Pixel Pro Displays, that you should do first and therefore get the very easiest of imports into your layout. So going forward, this should be your step number one. Uh, now this is this post is shown here in the Pixel Pro University Facebook group. If you haven't joined this group, you're welcome to do so. Just search for PPU Pixel Pro University on the Facebook search bar here. You'll click the join button. With that being said, we are going to talk about the importing of a package sequence. And the reason for this is because a number of the new sequences that PPD is creating and, and producing include not only images and photos, they also include videos as well as a number of new things, new effects called shaders. Shaders are separate files found online that you can download and you can create interesting effects for your mega tree, your matrix or whatever. But the challenge is, is that they are file based. Just like a video, it's a file. Just like a image or just like an AVI, it's a file. And Xlights has to point to that file in order to create the effect that was produced by the creator of the sequence. So uh, that's the process we're going to go through today. This is the physical written out description if you'd like to learn how to do it. Uh, but if you want to follow along with the video, I've decided to write this video format as well for you. Uh, first, before we begin, this video is brought to you today by the PPD Sequence Club. When you join the PPD Sequence Club, not only do you get an awesome original PPD X-Lite sequence that is sequenced professionally for our original house display, you also gain access to the affiliate discount program. We have a number of generous affiliates in the PPD community that offer uh, vendors that offer huge discounts. This year alone over ten thousand dollars was saved with one pixel vendor in total by PPD club members. So join the club, the only club that is out there that pays you back for your membership and get started with the affiliate program as well and also we offer a ton of free effect downloads for the PPD club members. So let us begin with today's lesson. So today what you'll see is we have a, um, a, uh, a file structure here. This is the uh, Bob Rivers toy sack. I just produced this sequence uh, a, a few weeks ago, a week or two ago, and um, it is now available on the website. But I used a lot of video. I used not a lot, but I used some video. I used some photos, and I also used some new shaders. Now, what I want to go through today is the process of mapping this into your computer's file structure because at the moment this is mapped to my computer's file structure. The problem with that is if you do a, f a full import, uh, just a standard import, all of your links to all of the files will be broken. So what I want to do is walk you through that step-by-step -step process right now. As you can see this is a copy of my Xlites directory for my home display and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in Windows New Folder and create a new folder here. I'm going to change the name of this to import. And once that is selected, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract this sequence. I can actually place it right into the import. That way it keeps it kind of all nice and neat. So why don't we go in there and we'll just close out of the downloads. And we'll go ahead and click on this. And when we do, we can see this button pops up. It says extract all. Now you may you may end up, let's go back, you may have a different version of Windows. You might have to right click and use the extract function here. And doing so, what we'll do is if you put this into your, uh, in, if you physically put this into your import directory, this will automatically import and extract into this folder. So we'll go ahead and click extract here. And now let's look at the file structure, the original file structure. We were in, we were in here. We created this, uh, we created this import. Let's go ahead and close this because we don't need it anymore. Import. 
Now we see the original zip folder. Now we have the actual folder unpackaged. And now we have a pro layout. Now this is the file on my sequencing computer that I go to to create the sequences for our display, for our layout. If you go into here, this is all the information for the sequence. This is our layout. This is our network file. This is our background image for the for the uh, house preview. And then this is the actual physical sequence. Now, finally, you have this little file here that's called lost. And what goes in the lost directory is all the links to all of the images, photos, the uh, the FS files, which are the shader files, and uh, any videos that are included. So this is where you have to find all of the missing links whenever you have to go in and map a sequence. Now that you understand this, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go into X Lights, and we're going to instead of being in my my uh, layout or my show folder here, I'm actually going to go and the first step, the very first step, I'm not going to create a new sequence yet. I'm physically going to change my directory from where I'm at. I'm going to go into my import folder. I'm going to go into the sequence. I'm going to go into the layout. And I'm going to select this folder. I'm not going to go in that lost folder. And now you're into the physical directory of whoever sequenced your show or the, the sequence for you. This is really, really, really important because next what we're going to do is we're going to open the sequence. We're going to select the sequence. And now we're going to go find the MP3 for the sequence. So you have to go pay for it and download it. Um, I happen to know my music is right here. And let's see. It is Bob Rivers. Uh, Bob Rivers. Which one? Toy Sack. Here it is. Click open. And we're done. Okay, so the first thing, before we do anything, I want you to understand what's happening here with X Lights. So if we click on a video, like this specific video effect, and we look at this, what you're going to find is, is that this may not pop up and work. And the reason it may not pop up and work is because that the file structure is set up for whoever created the sequence. In this instance, I'm on my computer, so it's going to work but it will not work on yours because it's not built for it and the way that we make it work is we click the render button and what x lights is now doing is it's repairing all of those files from all of the file structures in your in the sequencers computer to your file structure in your computer it's matching up it's matching up all of these it's matching up all of these lost files so that whenever it renders the sequence, it connects them to your file structure and how you have it laid out in your directory. The more interesting stuff that you put into a sequence, the longer it will take to, uh, to render it. I assure you that um, I don't want to make it hard for you to render your sequences, but the cool stuff is really cool and it does take a up a little bit more render time. Um, so after this, now what we're going to do is we're going to click Save. And once we click Save, then pretty much our sequence is prepared now for you to easily go in and do your normal import. So, folks, that's it. That's going to wrap it up for today's lesson. I know it's kind of long to go through this, but this is so important that you literally download, extract. Once you extract that file into your folder, then you point your X lights. Uh, you, you, well, obviously, you have to have your import folder set up. You extract your, your uh, downloaded sequence in there. Then you set your X lights directory to open up into your import folder. You open the sequence in the layout that it was produced in, and then click the render button, click the save button, and then your then your preparation work is all complete. Your last step is literally to go in. Uh, open your file structure, create new sequence, and do your normal import the way that you normally would. So folks, that's going to wrap it up for me here at Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us. If you, you haven't done yet, so please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, uh, if you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. You know, we really appreciate that. And always remember, we have the PPD Facebook page, the Pixel Pro University Facebook group. So join us there, folks. We will see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains.